Okay, guess what? We're in the kitchen. And look who's here. Hi, Ma. Hi. And Tess, uh, Tess is over there with you. <laughs> Hi, Tess. Hi. Okay. All right. So today, we're in the kitchen with Ma. It's Easter weekend when this is filming. Um, but this has nothing to do with Easter. We're just, we're making lasagna because I had a hankering for lasagna and Ma makes a really good lasagna. And so, um, and she's gonna kind of follow, again, the Strand Family Cookbook where her lasagna recipe mm -hmm. is in it, right? Yeah, okay. So, okay, Ma, lead us through how to make lasagna. All right, well, we've already uh, cooked the meat and the sauce along with some onions and celery. Mm. So we've already got that made. There's a bunch of other stuff in there too. Herbs, <laughs> it's okay. All right. <laughs> well, and we'll also get the ricotta ready for... Okay, now, do you always use ricotta? I do. But, but I've but heard- But you can use cottage cheese also. Okay, one time Dawn and I were in the hill country and we had lasagna at one of our places that we kind of go to regularly and they make theirs with cream cheese. Oh, be darned. So it was kind of good. It was a little, uh, it was thick, rich, I don't know how to explain it, but it was formidable. Okay, now what are we doing I'm here? I'm adding an egg. A whole egg. One whole egg, yep. So does the ricotta need to be like room temperature or what, does it matter? Is it I pretty? Don't, I don't think it matters. It's I, easy to work with? Yeah, kind of, kind of mush up the egg in there. And we are going to put some uh, basil and oregano and parsley. And parsley. And I also have some spinach left over from the garden. So we're just going to do a quarter teaspoon of each of these. Okay. So those are dry. These are dry, yes. Could you use fresh? I, I mean, think, we have yes, fresh of did, all this. You definitely could. And you would use more because it's right. not as pungent as yep. the dry. Yeah. Mm. I like and to these video are my with mother's my nose. old old spice jars from her kitchen cabinet that she had many years ago. Those are neat. And that one doesn't have holes in it, but that one does. But mm -hmm. we covered up those holes because we right. didn't want stuff falling out of there. Yeah. Right now. Yeah, I have all those. <laughs> yeah. I have all kinds of stuff in diff the different sizes. She didn't have the complete need to get better set, labels. Yes, some of them got broken over the years. Okay. Did it have a holder, like a, a I rack? Think it, it went. It went in a cabinet, a kitchen cabinet door that had a a little shelf rack for it. Okay. Yeah. Goodness. Was you first, D? Okay. Okay. Hi. Yeah, you're not getting any lasagna. Sorry. All right, here we go. So does this take like salt and pepper or what do you normally? Uh, no, 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 I don't put any salt and pepper it's in it. Just the, just kind of get it chunked up and get that egg mixed in. Okay, and you don't have to put any other cheese in this. Does it call for Parmesan or? I mean, I know we're gonna use mozzarella for the layers and stuff. It does call for mozzarella and uh, Parmesan. Uh-oh, I'm gonna have to grate some Parmesan. <laughs> we'll do that here in a few okay. minutes. Okay, I think this is pretty good. Does it go inside this mixture, the Parmesan? Um, let me check. No, ricotta, yeah, no, okay. no it doesn't. 
Okay, so we're going to spray okay. these pans with a little vegetable spray. I'm going to move that out of the way for a minute. I hope I can see to what I'm doing. There. But, and you're putting, sauce is always the first layer. Yeah. But you're just making sure that, like, the sides don't get so right unruly. Right. And what kind of, so did you cook your lasagna noodles? These are the kind that you don't have to cook. Could you cook those? No, they would disintegrate. They're oven ready. Okay. I think they would disintegrate if you put them in water. In water? Yeah. Okay, because they're already. Yeah. Are they're, they? They're just made up and formed. Are they flexible? Not really. No. They're crisp. Okay. Yeah. So you okay. can't really use them to like roll anything up like if you no, decided to not do. not like the other kind that you... Uh, Okay. You boil them and soften them up. All right. Okay, so now we need about three quarters of a cup. Okay, so we're making two dishes full because we thought maybe we'd give some to someone else. Maybe. You think that's about three quarter? Sure. I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't paying it. Yeah, uh, maybe a little more. That's a lot of sauce. I'm sure we're going to have plenty. So you just kind of smear it all around there. Okay. I'm going around you <laughs> to get on this side of you. Oh, that smells so good. Mm -hmm. It's homemade sauce. Dogs, dogs, dogs. Something's going on. Squirrel. <laughs> Bird. Anything. Okay. okay. So now that's going to put. And this is meat sauce, by the way. It's got hamburger meat in it. So. Oh, mm. look, that fits pretty good. I'm going to put two in there. Okay. And yeah, I'm not sure how this is going to go. No. So maybe, like do you that. need like scissors or can you just kind of break it? I think it? I'll just break it. <laughs> That's okay. about. Because you're not really supposed to overlap them too not much, right? Not really, but that, okay. that All right. good. So that, so then. Now we do another. Another layer another of the meat layer sauce. Another layer of the sauce. Okay. There's a little hard spot there. Maybe a chunk of meat or yeah, could be tomato because yeah, be these whole canned tomatoes. Oh, wow. You're using a bunch. Okay. But yeah, so we've got well, it at least to, one more layer of that. It has to uh, saturate these noodles. Do you ever feel like you have to add something to more liquid or sometimes you do like what do you mean like just water or broth or, tomato or... juice or something oh, okay so you're you're getting a pretty good layer right I want to use it all up. Well, I thought it was a ton. Okay. And uh, now we put some, uh, let's see, sauce noodle sauce dot with cheese. Dot. Okay. Dot with I cheese. Say, how are you going to smear that without just making a huge mess? <laughs> like it seems really, like. Really, it just kind of smooths itself out. Um, if I don't make a big mess here. <laughs> when you put the next layer on it, it... Oh, yeah, because you're going to smush down the... I'm going to put another... The noodles. Yeah. But we have to do mozzarella, too. So right. it goes in next. Yes. Um, 
I'm anxious. <laughs> I'm impatient. And we're not even going to eat this today because it's better if it sits, right? Right. It all gets kind of happy together. Put it in the freezer overnight. I mean, not the, the, fr okay. the refrigerator. Say, overnight. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I feel like your noodles are a little naked around the edges. Mm-hmm. So maybe add a little more sauce, do you think? Yeah, it's gonna press out. I think it'll be okay. Okay. As long as you know. Yeah, I'm gonna eat the cheese. Oh, we forgot to open the cheese. Yeah, use that one up first. It's older. So what, does it matter that we're using, um, pre-shredded, or does it matter if we didn't shred our own mozzarella? I think it's good. It's always nice and moist. Okay, so this is that low moisture, uh, uh, whole, whole milk, milk, low moisture. Low moisture, okay. Yeah. Well, we have a ton of it, so, like, don't be stingy. Okay. Because <laughs> I like lots of cheese. There you go. Now you're cooking. Oh, yeah, we got to do this guy yet. Oh, you're still over here. What would it be like with some other cheeses? Well, like... I've put sharp cheddar before. Oh, it's okay. Tastes just as good to me. What about like a Gruyere or a Swiss? Yeah, I'm not or... sure about that. I don't know. I feel like it I would don't change the yeah. it would change the flavor profile. I think Swiss has a different flavor. But... I wonder if you could just use Monterey Jack. Or... Get every last drop. Well, there's some stuck. Yeah, there's there. always some stuck. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Another layer, and should we go this way? Well, it fits the other way really well. Or does it? Oh, if it's both. That's right. This is a square pan. Yeah. I'm looking through a... Huh? What? Parmesan? Are we supposed to put Parmesan on I, now? I don't. I put, I put that on at the last. At the very last. Okay. The cameraman, because there's another one. I did have Parmesan on here. Is... Is... Uh, we should have you reading the... Uh, <laughs> recipe to us <laughs> he's right. worried he's not go. he's <laughs> worried he's not going to get us parmesan because he's a huge parmesan fan well, i don't even think we should give the other pan away but that's just me <laughs> well we might not it's nice to have two because you can freeze it it's just i've you know started to do a nine by 13 and then it just seems like oh my gosh then you have this huge pan and if you, you don't eat it all one more layer right uh, sure. Maybe it doesn't have to be a huge layer. You know, like maybe, oh gosh. Camera work. What are you breaking up, a tomato? Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't squeeze them before I... It's like you're giving all the love to that little pan. <laughs> and this guy's going wanting. Might have to get and break well, out another jar of sauce. you know sauce. what? I've got a jar of sauce. I've got several jars of sauce. Small jar so of sauce. So that's something. fine. If we have to, it just a, isn't going to have the meat in it. But that's okay. So that's two layers. Man, I thought when I made the sauce, I thought I was making a huge amount. As a matter of fact, I still have tomatoes that I didn't even use. Canned tomatoes. 
that I opened and didn't use. I should have. It just seemed like the pot was getting really full. I'll get those tomatoes out and plop them in here. Oh, yeah? In here. Okay. All right, we're going to pause because i got to go on a tomato run. Okay, we're back. We had a little... <laughs> We had to get a few more ingredients together. Okay, so there goes all that stuff. Oh, are you gonna lick that? No, I'll let you do that. Uh-uh. <laughs> I know there's rye egg in there. But I was just wondering. I always just want to lick it all. Put a little more over here. Hmm. You're going to put it in the wrong place. No. I don't think it would have mattered. I don't think, I think it would all be okay. Oh, yeah. That looks good. All right. Okay. And so we're going to cover this one. Let's see. How should we do this? How about if we do this one like this? Okay. So we're running out, in other words. We're kind of running out of uh, noodle. the noodles, but I think it'll work out. Well, that one gets, oh, you're, okay. We're just gonna space them out a little bit differently. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, who work. knew? Okay, but honestly, it would have fit. It would have been okay, right? If, um, wait, were you supposed to do mozzarella right there? I was. <laughs> Maybe don't we don't want to film this, Dawn? This Why? Is, it's a disaster. No, it's not a disaster. Who thinks this is a disaster? In the comments, <laughs> leave a, a leave disaster. a comment that this is dis a disaster. <laughs> uh, it's because I'm rushing you. Because I can't believe we're not going to eat this tonight. But. No way. It's ridiculous. Maybe maybe we eat one of them tonight. But I feel like it won't be as good because I know it has to sit. Do you need help? <laughs> Through the magic of television and YouTube, that bag is now open. Thank you. All right. No, this is fun. We're good. <laughs> hey, this is how this is how it happens, and we're real. You know, where people really cook, right? <laughs> <laughs> you don't think it's that funny, right? It's okay. There we go. Oh yeah. Lovely. Get some more in that corner. That corner needs coverage. Coverage. Okay, see, nobody's the wiser. Nobody's the wiser. I'm not telling my friends about this video. You're not? <laughs> I'm going to tell them. They don't even look at it anyhow. Oh, they might. Yeah. I'm going to make sure they know. <laughs> I think you'd be surprised. And all the relatives are going to see it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, you gotta save some of that for the top I too. Know. Well, here, push that over. Yeah, because I can see through. <laughs> cover, cover, cover. Cover, cover, cover. How did we have this? Yeah, kind of like that. You're doing great, Mom. <laughs> All right, perfect. So, now, back to this. I think I got rid of my spoon. Oh, there you go. It's not much of a spoon, but. Okay. I could just eat this tomato sauce just like this. Yeah. I love the color of it. Mm -hmm. It's very rich looking, very fresh looking. Okay, don't forget, you still got stuff over here. Yeah. Surely you could dump that whole thing on there. Mm -hmm. 
man, this is, I, I don't know how you could do another, for sure you couldn't do another layer because there's well, just no room. It in these pans, it would boil over. Yeah. As a matter of fact, we're going to put a pan underneath it. Yeah. Just in case stuff gets to bubbling and carrying on. Yummy. You're meticulous. Mm -hmm. Trying to cover it all, but we'll put some cheese on it. Glad we had extra cheese because I think we're going to use it all. Because we're we're cheesy. We mm -hmm. like cheese. That's gonna be bubbling over too much. <laughs> nah. I mean, it's gonna sink down to a degree and kind of settle. Okay, so now what would be Parmesan, but I don't have any. So this is Pecorino Romano, which is gonna be beautiful. It's salty and nutty and good and sharp and And so when it comes out of the oven, when we do cook it, bake it, are we gonna sprinkle fresh parsley on it or basil sure. or what kind of what kind of some, decor do you? Maybe some fresh parsley and basil since we have both. Okay. All right. Yeah. I can't tell if that depth is you need more over here, mm -hmm. like drag, 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 drag. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna wrap it up with plastic wrap, right? And then tin foil. And then tin foil, and then obviously when it's time to bake it, we're gonna take the plastic wrap off and put the tin foil back on. Correct. That's right. And then however long it takes, we're gonna take the tin foil off and finish it without a, a lid. Without the, without the foil. Let it brown up a little bit. Okay, and get the cheese all bubbly. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna let it sit overnight. So it's probably gonna be about 24 hours before we're gonna be back and finish this up. Okay, thanks, Ma, it looks good. You did good, thank you. Bye. All right, bye. <laughs> See you next time. Okay, <laughs> tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, guess what? We changed our mind. We are eating one of them tonight. So we've got our oven preheating and we put the casserole dish on a pan with some foil because this one looks like it could, it could bubble over a little bit. Um, it's definitely right up to the rim there so anyway so now oh should we spray that so that the cheese doesn't stick yeah. all right let's do that that's kind of a thing so just spray in the center It's, I'm sure some of it's going to stick because that's just how it works. All right. Now, do you want this tight or 
Do you just sort of leave it loose or what? It's loose, so it'll be good. Okay. All right, well then we're gonna stick it in a preheated 350 degree oven. Uh-uh, I'm gonna do it, Mom. Mom, let me do it. Shut the, here, anyway, that's what we're gonna do. Here in a minute, we're gonna put it in a 350 degree oven for how long are we gonna cook it? What are we gonna do? Oh, what are we doing? five to 45 minutes. And that's all, or we're, then we'll that's? Just, we'll take the cover off and leave it for another eight to 10 minutes. Okay, cool. All right, well, then we will see you back here in however long it takes. Okay, so what's going on over here? All right, we're gonna eat this lasagna. Oh yeah, we are. Okay, <laughs> so it's been sitting out for at least, what, 20 minutes or so. Mm -hmm. So you're just kind of cutting through and kind of making a mess, but it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna dish some up. Like how big is a normal piece of lasagna? Who knows that? Mm -hmm. I think that looks good. Yeah, we're, it, it, you're cutting it into fourths for four of us? <laughs> <laughs> no. no, no. No, okay. How big a piece do you want? Uh, I don't... Yeah, I'll start with that. Okay. That, one, that looks good to me. All right, we're going to dish this up and then we'll look at it again. Okay, so the cameraman is all worried about whether or not he's going to get <laughs> any lasagna. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> So, yeah, this is looking good. And we're so hungry, we're just not even going to go out to the garden and get fresh basil for it. Because I can see stuff in there. We have greens. There's, mm -hmm. there's, that could be basil right there. So, anyway. Okay, well, this looks good, and we're going to eat it. And, oh, yeah, we have some bread we're going to eat it with, and it's all going to be good. So, thanks again, Ma. Thank you so much for making us some lasagna. You're welcome. All right, well, we'll see you the next time, okay? What are we going to make next? What do you want to yeah. do? Don't make any promises you're not going to keep. I think we ought to do something in the air fryer, which oh, I know nothing about. That's right. We got to do, yeah, we talked about onion rings and stuff. Okay, we're going to investigate that. So we'll see you guys next time on In the Kitchen with Ma.